morning to Anne. How are you? Happy Thursday to you. It is Thursday, the 23rd of April of the year 2020, meaning for a short date, it is the 23rd day of the fourth month of the year 2020. For English today, we're going to be correcting sentences, okay? Actually, we are going to become super sentence detectives, okay? And our mission today is to spot all the mistakes in sentences, okay? So are you ready? Oh, but wait, I think we need to review just a little bit, okay? So let's review. Capital letters and lowercase letters. We know that capital means big and lowercase is because they're smaller, okay? So it's always good to practice how you are doing your letter formation, all right? And we're going to remember that they are the same letter. It's just one that's bigger and one that's smaller. Do you remember when we use capital letters? Hmm. Lola is laughing at me. We use capital letters at the beginning of a sentence, always, right? We always use a, a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence. When I say the word I, I, not the letter I, the word I. Yesterday, I ran three miles. I am Miss Carolina, okay? Proper nouns. Proper nouns means the names of people, pets, okay? So Carolina is capital letter. Your name is a capital letter. Lola's name is a capital letter, okay? And the names of places. So for example, McDonald's, or even the name of our school, Cambridge International School would be a capital letter. Holidays, like Halloween and Christmas and Easter, okay? Days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, days of the week. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the months of the year. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December are all the months. And we have to remember to capitalize them, make them capital letters in the beginning. Okay. Which words here, we're going to practice, which words here need a capital letter? We have something that we call proper nouns, and then we have nouns. Remember that the word nouns means a person, a place, or a thing, okay? Which means pizza or food, <laughs> pizza. It means food or animals, okay? So we have proper nouns and we have nouns. Proper nouns means that it's the name of a person, a place, or even a very special thing. For example, my computer, is an apple. Because apple is the name of a company, we would make it capital, okay? So let's get started with some other examples. Tom, Minecraft, door, cake, June, Monday, Russia, dog, Easter, computer, bicycle, pizza, okay? And here what we're going to look at is the first one, and it says Tom. Tom, is Tom a proper noun or is it a noun? It is the name of a person or it could be a pet, okay? But it is a name. So we would give it a capital letter. It becomes a proper noun, okay? What about cake? Cake. Cake, is that a name? Hmm, it's a type of food. So we would just leave it in nouns. It is not a proper noun. It does not need to be capitalized, okay? How about the next one? Easter, Easter. Now we had Easter last weekend here in Russia for those that celebrate it, okay? Easter is a holiday, so we do need to capitalize it. It is a proper noun, okay? We have dog, dog. Now dog is an animal, but is it the name? No, okay? Not all dogs we call dog, okay? so. We, each dog we name, we give it a name, right? But dog is the name of an animal. So we just leave it as a noun, not a proper noun. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. 
Is that an object? Yes, it's just a normal noun as well, okay? What about Minecraft? I know Stefan is going to be really excited to hear this one. Minecraft, hmm. Is it a proper noun or a noun? Hmm, what do you think, Lola? Uh, I think it's... Hmm, it, is it the name of a game? Yes. Yeah, so... so it is capital? Yeah. Ah, Lola says it's capital. So I would say, yes, it is. And then it does start with a capital, so I know. <laughs> okay, Minecraft is the name of a game, so we would capitalize the M, okay? Well done. Computer, computer. Computer is a noun. It is not the name of the company, okay? It's not a, a Samsung. It is not an LG. It is not an Apple. It is just the name of the object, so it is a noun, computer. Monday is the day of the week, which we need to capitalize, okay? Door is an object, okay? A door, okay, is an object. So it is a noun, a normal noun. We don't need to capitalize it. Ah, Russia. Mother Russia, hmm, Russia is a name of a country. So it should be capitalized, okay? It should have a capital letter. What about pizza? Pizza. Now, pizza is very, I would say it's proper, but it's not because I love pizza, right? Okay, so pizza would actually just be a normal noun because it's telling us a type of food. Okay, what about June? June. June is the name of a month and all months of the year are capitalized. So we would put it as a proper noun, okay? Now, there's one that is very important, which is the letter, not the letter, the word I, I, Miss Carolina, I am a teacher, I am from Colombia, I uh, have a daughter, okay, I like coffee, yes, I. Now, that I always needs to be a capital letter, always, okay, I. If it's the letter I, does it need to be capitalized? No, but if you're using it in a sentence and you're talking about I, then you need to use a capital I, even if it's in the middle of the sentence, I, okay? Well done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? Let's look at something else, something important. Ooh, this is something important, okay? Let's look at this sentence. The fluffy cat Climb the tree quickly. Now, this is the start to a very good sentence because we use an adjective to describe the cat. We've used the past tense on the action word here, excuse me, on the verb, okay? And we describe how the cat is climbing the tree. So the fluffy cat climbed the tree quickly. So we can imagine this fluffy cat climbing the tree very quickly. Okay, so it is a very good sentence to start, but what do we see that is missing? What do we need at the beginning of a sentence? A capital letter, absolutely. Always use the capital letters at the beginning of sentences. What are we missing at the end of the sentence? A full stop, or we can use question marks or exclamation marks. In this case, we're going to look for full stops or question marks, okay? Very good. So then we realize that we can rewrite the sentence and say, the, with a capital T, fluffy cat climbed the tree quickly, full stop. Yes. So this becomes something important to remember, okay? So this is definitely something that you've been working on since year one. We need to continue to do it in year two and to always remember, capital letter, full stop, okay? Well done. Ah, today you're also going to be watching out for contractions, okay? <laughs> watching out for contractions. Contractions are with two words become one using an apostrophe, okay? So we have two words, did not, and they can become one using an apostrophe. This here is an apostrophe. It's just a little tick at the top, okay? Now, 
did not. We can put these two words together by using an apostrophe. Let's see how. Didn't. So what you're going to do is actually you're going to put the two words together, but then you realize that the apostrophe is replacing the O. Okay. So you're going to write did n apostrophe T. Okay. Didn't. Did not. Okay. So that's just something for you to look out today. Okay. To look out for. Excuse me. Okay. And one more thing is to be careful with spelling. Okay. So you need to be careful with spelling. How? Always look carefully at the words. Okay. Sometimes if you've seen the words so many times, you will start to look at it and say, that's not right. Okay. So always look carefully at each word. Okay. Say them out loud. If you say them out loud, then maybe your brain will click on and remember, huh, it's missing a sound. Hmm. Or it's this sound that goes here. Okay. Always say it out loud. Okay. When you listen to yourself, you might be able to catch a sound. Use your sound knowledge, okay? All of the phonic sounds that we do all the time, okay? So when you're saying it out loud, use your sound knowledge, okay? Well done. Now, now we can become detectives. Are you ready? Here we go. What mistakes do you see in this sentence? Tan crayon didn't like being eaten by a dog. What mistakes do we see first? Ah, the beginning of a sentence, it needs to have a capital letter. And with the word didn't, if you see here, I'm gonna take it back, didn't needs an apostrophe, okay? And like eaten by a dog, ah, the very end of the sentence, of course, it needs a full stop, okay? So we can rewrite the sentence and say, tan, with the capital T, tan crayon didn't like being eaten by a dog, full stop. And the didn't here has the apostrophe. Okay, well done. What mistakes do you see here? Gold crayon had a pencil sharpener stuck on his head. Let's look at the, from the very beginning, okay? Always read the sentence out loud and then go back to the beginning. Gold needs to be capital. Ha, ah, stuck. Now interesting, because in English, right, we have three different ka sounds. We have ka, ka, and we have ka together, okay? Now, which one is most likely to go at the end of a sentence, okay? In most words, if you hear ka at the end, it's going to be with a CK, all right? So that's where we know that maybe our spelling, our sounds and spelling knowledge will help us, okay? And we need a full stop at the end, all right? Gold crayon had a pencil sharpener stuck on his head. What mistakes do you see here? Chunky crayon addressed his postcard to Mr. Duncan. Hmm. The C at the beginning of the sentence needs to be capitalized. The C in chunky. Ha, ah, we have a name. We have Mr. Duncan. Now, Mr. is not part of his name, but it is part of his title. So I am Miss Carolina, right? But the Miss is not my name. It's my title as a teacher, okay? But that also needs to be capital because it makes part of my name as a teacher. Mr. Duncan, full stop. So let's check it out. Chunky Crayon addressed his postcard to Mr. Duncan. Capital M, capital D, full stop. All right, and one more. What mistakes do you see here? Do you remember, or do you remember, I'm sorry, do you think Duncan remembers coloring with neon red crayon? We're gonna start from the very beginning of the sentence and look at do. We need to capitalize the D, capitalize another D in the name Duncan because it's his name. And do we put a full stop here? Let's read the sentence again. Do you think Duncan remembers coloring with neon red crayon? 
because we start with the word do, it's going to be a question, okay? Do you think Duncan remembers coloring with the neon red crayon? So it's actually going to be a question mark at the end, okay? So the do for the beginning of a sentence, Duncan, capital D because of a name, and question mark at the end, okay? Well done, detectives. So your job today, detectives, is to, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. As always, you do not have to print this material. You can use, write, copy it into a notebook, okay? That is enough for me. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. Look for the mistakes in each of these sentences, okay? And what you are going to do is copy and rewrite each sentence with the corrections, okay? So if we look at the first one, neon red crayon thinks, thinks, Newcastle has giant pyramids. Hmm, okay? So neon red crayon thinks Newcastle has giant red pyramids. Now, the sentence is in correct order, so don't worry about that. Look at where they're capital letters, okay? So we're gonna always look for the capital letters, the full stops, the contractions, and the spelling, okay? So I'm gonna help you with the first one, and we're going to see here. <clears throat> Make it a little smaller, it's not going to fit, <clears throat> okay? So we're going to see neon red crayon. Now, it's the beginning of a sentence, so neon should be capital. Why is red capital? Okay, red should be lowercase, crayon should be lowercase, okay? Neon red crayon thinks. Now, do we do that th, th, or is it th, th? It almost sounds the same, but not quite. F, th, okay, so thinks, okay. Newcastle is a city, so if it's a city, it's a name of a place, it should be capital. Newcastle has giant pyramids. And what do we need at the end of the sentence? A full stop, absolutely, okay? So. That is what your lesson for today is, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. And I can't wait to see all of your work. Keep up the great work, you guys. Bye.